Good morning. Uh, my name is Navid Nikain. I'm professor at uh, Eurecom in south of France. Here we want to to present you our work related to the 5G RAN uh, slicing, and in particular, we want to show you the, the new, let's say, achievement we have made in enabling the the 5G RAN. If I start by let's say key ingredients, one thing that is very important in RAN is how to separate the data plane from the control plane uh, in the radio access network and how to ensure that we could enforce some real-time control from the, the controller into the, into the RAN. For this, we need to, to define a control plane protocol that separates the, the RAN data plane from the RAN control plane and where we could uh, have uh, applications, network applications to be developed and to be applied to the underlying network. This actually requires a software development kit which we, we developed for our controller, enabling the network developers to use this software SDK, software de development kit, to, to develop the network applications. We provide here two examples. One is the monitoring applications, so you, on the real time you monitor the radio access network uh, information across all the layers from FI to the, to the RRC layer, but also you have this policy enforcement app where an application developers could get the status of the network, analyze what's happening on the, on the underlying network and determine which resource allocation policy has to be enforced to the underlying RAM and this could be done through the controller, so the application will uh, push a policy to the controller, which uh, in turn the controller will push the policy into the underlying RAM. Uh, another ingredients of, uh, uh, of this uh, real-time control to really enable the application developer is the concept of the network uh, graph database. So this is uh, different from just having the standard database like uh, MySQL or, or, or NoSQL type, but here you actually represent the network through the, uh, through the graph where you have a nodes and the links and each node and each link has uh, certain properties. So an application developer, what it can do, it can, for instance, uh, as an example, let's take the positioning uh, app. It could query the controller and the graph database, I want all the inode Bs and all the UEs with only, uh, let's say, RSRPU and RSRP information. So this is a query sent to the network graph database, and the result would be a subgraph of the uh, original graph, which has all the information requested by the user, and therefore this user, this uh, app developer, could uh, exercise the algorithm on this uh, subgraph very, very efficiently. So in this uh, demo, we are showing all of these uh, ingredients all together to show how uh, radio access network could be sliced and how different policies could be applied according to a specific slice uh, requirement. Now I'm going to present you the demo. So here in this figure, you see we have on the uh, right hand side, we have the core network, standard 4G, 4G plus core network. We have a radio access network, we have RAN data plane, we see also the control plane, this real-time controller, together with the RAN agent, that both of them are actually having this control plane protocol through which the information could be exchanged between the RAN and the, and the controller. Um, we also see uh, two applications uh, up there, one is the monitoring app to really read the status of the underlying RAN, we also see the policy app which um, enforces the policy back to the underlying uh, RAN data plane. Uh, and here we have uh, remote radio units and the, the smartphone. So here in our example, uh, I can show you the, the, the UE. Uh, now it's running, the inode B is transmitting and now we actually connected our, our UE to, to this base station. Now we start the, the YouTube, we go for instance to open an interface uh, uh, website and we start the video. So he, here we, we see that the, the UE is effectively connected to our network. And now what we, we could see these uh, ingredients I was talking before. So through this controller we could <coughs> retrieve the status of the UE that is here 
but also the inner bit that is there, we could actually retrieve it in the controller. So this allows the network application to use this information to optimize the network, to apply some policies, to even to create some knowledge, like, as I said before, like positioning, crowd distributions, and, and, and so forth. So in, in this uh, uh, example, we have developed uh, uh, an application, which is RRM application, Radio Resource Management application. This application, what it does is that it receives the status information from the underlying RAN, underlying UE, decide uh, which percentage of resource block has to be associated to each UEs, to each base station, and then through the policy application, it will enforce that policy back to the back to the network. So here in, in this uh, window, we, we see that the, these are the, the status and the logs that are happening uh, on, on the real time, uh, uh, receiving the information. So this is all enabled through the SDK, Software Development Kit we developed for this real time controller, allowing to develop a diverse or limitless uh, application. On the right hand side, what you see is that you see not only the visualization of the underlying network, how many node Bs, how many UEs are attached to node B, but also what you see is that you also see the relationship, you also see the properties of the link, properties of the, of the node. So this is uh, not only for a visualization purpose, but also for optimization purpose, because actually this is based on the concept of the network uh, database. So each node, like E node B or UE are associated with a certain properties that could be extracted from the status manager of the controller. And then an application developer could, for instance, do a query, say, I want a subgraph that has the, uh, the information for each link based on the RSRP, RSRQ information, and this could basically, uh, basically retrieve.